that should be good. And what about you know, yeah, what do you think? In any case, if Where's you prefer to look at it more carefully after the meeting or something, do so. So they're great. Okay. Uh, okay. We're, we're a bit in a, in a hurry, but uh, it's better that we agree on it because this okay. is probably going to be the first um, uh, focus area which is complete. Okay, then I'll look at it after the meeting. Okay. Okay, then if anyone else wants to uh, comment on it, then that's, that's great. Otherwise, I suggest that if there are no negative comments, we merge it uh, as soon as possible so that we can start working on, on the metrics. And um, we can move to the next um, request, which is the third one, and the last one, which is the community manager use case. And this is uh, pending the use in. So yeah, I made, I made some, I don't know, I'm wondering if, this one is, um, I guess, I guess we could, I don't know. I think it could be merged, but I can make a few more changes to it. Oh, I don't know if somebody wants to review it again or. So I think there is, there was no change after the last review or there was. Um, maybe I haven't pushed it. Okay. Maybe that's the case. All right. I guess I, I haven't, I haven't I pushed it. All right. So let okay. me, um, I'll push it. If someone could review it before our next meeting, after I push it, um, I'll assign people's, if, I'd like to get it merged before the leadership summit for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then if, if you could address some of the comments, so that's great. Then I'll submit that version. And I will review it as soon as possible. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And we are done with pull request. Maybe we can move to issues one. And um, following the same order that we have in the um, issues panel. The first one is uh, including the code of, of conduct as a top uh, level document. Um, I think this is just copying on, on pasting, so if somebody can produce a, a full request. Uh, I'm not sure that we need this really all over the place in all the repositories because we already have it in the in the project level, but uh, at the project level. But I know that somebody, some people is more comfortable if uh, this is in all the repositories. So I just suggest that somebody can produce uh, a pull record with it. If you agree, what I'm going to do is just to uh, level it as a good first thing to, to do with us. Which is good which, I'm not understanding uh, which pull request, which issue are you looking at, Jesus? I'm looking at issue number 93, which is okay. to include the code, code of conduct as a top level document. Okay. And uh, what I'm saying is that I'm, I'm labeling, I just label it as um, uh, help wanted and a uh, good first issue because okay, it's right. a matter of full request in it. So I think that anyone can do that if they want. All right. Okay. The next one is uh, 92 that you open in align names of metrics. And I think this is our result of our last meeting. And um, I think I'm going to label it the same way. I think yeah. I actually, I actually think I fixed that in the meeting. I'll need to check. So, um, yeah, I, okay. I, I, I didn't show the full record. Maybe you check directly. If I, can I, think, I think I, yeah, I think I edited it directly while we were talking, maybe after I created the issue. I, I'll double check, but. Okay. If I'm pretty, case, I'm pretty sure there. that, yeah, I'm, I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure that's the okay. one that, that um, Matt was like, these aren't really a big deal. And I'm like, oh, okay. Let me just fix that. Okay, okay great. In that case, just uh, close it and, and that's it. Okay, the next one is uh, well, somebody reporting an error, trying to say the uh, saying that they have um, um, re resource not found error, but um, Kevin tried to reproduce it and, and couldn't. Uh, so I don't know if we should just close it or uh, again, there's going to be uh, the original reporter maybe. In, yeah. Should we all just try real quick and see if we can replicate it? Well, what is, I'm getting a 404 error when trying to access the value and risk metrics. Okay. 
I guess from where? Okay, in any case. Yes, I'm saying, uh, can you say if you can still see this specific link, please? So that we can see what to fix, because maybe there is some fix somewhere that we do. So let's see if this person answers. And uh, we can do with that if, if they answer. Um, then we can move to the next one, which is 83. And I think that we are uh, almost done with that, with this. If you remember, we were waiting until the diversity and inclusion uh, was done so that we can move to the same uh, structure that we had. I think, I think, I think they are done. I think I have something. So that's another one I should address. Because basically they, they were adjusting to our structure. And in right. the process, they included something new that we right. didn't have. And so the idea would be to wait until they have it fixed, just to avoid going, going back and forth. So I think we, we can leave this open for now. If you agree. Okay, the, the next two ones are for Google Summer of Code Ideas. So it's only a matter of um, dealing with the students that are starting to comment and so on. So nothing specific for this meeting, I think. Um, the next one is to address what the board is first. Uh, after. So number 61. And this is a use case of the by car. We are still waiting for his feedback, I think. You think in him, then? Uh, but we are still waiting, so we can leave it open if you agree. Yep, I agree. The next one is linked to the pull request that we already commented about um, community manager, so we can still leave open until until we are done with um, with the pull request. Mm -hmm. The next one, forty-eight, is the, the use case for characterizing a participant, uh, etc., which is also by by Carl and again waiting for for his input. Mm -hmm. And, um, and the last one is we're finding the code development focus area, which is open pending this um, code, sorry, this pull request that we just commented a moment ago to, yeah. and we need to let it open until we are done. And I think that's it with respect to issues and pull requests. Perfect. Any other comment or something else that you want to, to discuss on this? No. Okay, great. Then, um, do you want to go with the proposed agenda? Yeah, that works. Is Google um, Summer of Code. Um, I'm not that informed on this. On this, I only saw the, the the announcement that we were selected. Somebody has more information. I haven't seen any. Like I've been reading the lists, and I know the question yesterday was about whether or not we got both of the Google Summer of Code students that we asked for, and mm -hmm. I don't see anybody talking about like getting only one student or <laughs> only getting you know some yeah. of what they asked for. I see people getting accepted or not accepted. So I'm thinking uh, we just got what we asked for. When, when the dashboard is open, usually they say the number of, of blocks that we have. Okay. But at least, uh, at least me, I don't have access to the dashboard yet. So I don't know Jorgen if had to, and I think, I don't know if Matt's back or not. He said on the call yesterday that there was no clear indication about how many we had. So I don't think there's anything we can talk about. Delivery. I'm back, so oh. sorry. Um, no, I, I looked again this morning. You're talking about Google Summer of Code. Yeah, just the, like I was saying on the mailing lists, I'm not seeing any distinction between I got one of the two students I asked for, so I'm... Yep, no, I don't see anything on the dashboard, e or on the, well, yeah, the dashboard either. Like, I think if we're accepted, I guess Jesus was saying that on the dashboard, it, it sometimes says the number of slots, but is that... Yeah, the case? not seeing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think that nothing else, right? Not, nothing new to discuss about this. So the only thing is that we have at least one slot, but we still don't know in more than that. Okay. Yep. You got it. Okay. So then the next uh, item in the agenda is update from working groups. Uh, I don't understand this one. This one. What, what's that? Yeah. Oh, well, I, that was a cut and paste. So just oh, okay. <laughs> I, I pulled that from. Okay, great. 
And the next one is release and versioning. So maybe we already commented about this yesterday. And we yeah, that wait. was yesterday. So I was just, whatever your agenda is, you can put so it in that piece, I think that we are done. Uh, I think that we need to talk very briefly about the plans for the next um, open source summit because we work uh, to mean to try to have a release of the metrics. So my idea about this is um, with respect to the code review for Kostaria, if uh, or when we accept this uh, pull request, we have a full description of the focus area. And most of the metrics are going to be available because they are either uh, already present in the legacy metrics. And it's a matter of uh, changing names and maybe uh, filling the, the template the, the right way, let's say the new way. I think or, some of them are quite present. Present. Some of them are present, but I'm not sure they're fully developed. Maybe not. Like I think yeah. we need a I think we need a checklist of like what does it mean? Like what has to be there? What's the minimum standard for releasing a metric? But but for that uh, at least we need to know the list of metrics with which we need to work. And yeah. for that we need the focus IR file mm -hmm. and That's why I was saying that we are not really in a hurry, but we need to have the decision on what we consider as a metric for code development as soon as possible so that we know the list of metrics that we should have. And uh, based on that, and I have reserved some time during this week specifically to work on that, to try to push it as much as possible so that we can have at least a preliminary version of as, much, uh, of as many metrics as possible. Um, but depends on when we have the, 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 the final set. So if you want to go quickly through the pull request itself, and just uh, loading it right now, uh, just introduce you to which metrics we likely may have. I'll, uh, I'll chime in on this. So in terms of the metrics for your focus groups that you have, there seems to be, at least from the DNI side, there seems to be a lot of value in creating some preliminary tables as to what metrics might help constitute a particular focus area. I certainly don't think that it needs to be a definitive list. Obviously, it can evolve. But those. But, uh, Matt, that's pull request number 90. Yeah. Uh, I'm just. If you, at, if you look at that pull request, you have the proposal for the list of metrics. Okay. Go with the focus area. Which is, uh, uh, you know, we have been working with this for a long time. So this is basically trying to put uh, a bit formal, but we have commented a lot of form uh, many times here. And uh, it's a matter just of, um, of going through uh, the different yep. um, goals that we had and refining them to the level of metric. Agreed. And, uh, and that's what this pull request proposes. Yeah, so I think I, my point was just encouraging this, okay. this action, just because I, okay. from what I'm seeing in the DNI, it's those tables that people are gravitating towards a lot. Mm -hmm. they, they just create really good points of conversation. So like when Hyperledger is interested in the DNI stuff, that's, that's, mm -hmm. it seems like it's revolving a little bit around that, or if yeah. Mozilla is interested. Mm -hmm. I'm just, and I'm sure there's, I know there's technologies and methods behind, but those, those, those tables, of metrics and i know this is what you're doing i'm just encouraging yeah i mean i can i can give some time on saturday to going through this i have a couple of things to do this week that will make it hard for me to do anything no else um, okay in any case uh, if you go to the pull request itself and you click on the right on the yeah right. i'm looking at it and okay. there's a there's a list there I, um yeah this is this is my proposal for the list which i think is based on the past discussions Maybe I'm missing something, but if you want to go quickly now to it, it's basically for activity, we have the three main data sources, which is JIT or similar, and we are calling it changes to avoid chronic needs or any specific word by JIT, so that this can also be used by people using Mercurial, for instance, or CSV or whatever, so it's a yes. And uh, the second one is about code review, and the third one is about issues. And uh, for code review, I'm calling it proposals. I'm not happy with the name, but I was trying to avoid something too much related to either Gerrit or GitLab or GitHub. 
And each of them has a different name for this. So I, I was trying to find an author name and I came with change proposal with this ability proposal. Yeah, and I, I mean, is, what does GitLab call it? Merge uh, requests. Merge requests. So we have merge requests in, um, in, um, in GitLab, pull requests in GitHub, and in uh, Jury, they use both the names, code reviews, and patches, depending on the country. Uh, but they are pretty much the same thing. So okay. in, in any case, we can decide on this now and discuss the name later, because um, we need to settle on something for now. And so this could be all for uh, activity. So if you look, there are very basic metrics. It's just the number, the raw numbers, so number of changes, for instance, and name uh, number of uh, lines changed. For code review is raw numbers too, so number of code reviews, number yeah. of accepted and declined. And for instance, it's basically the same. Issues, I think there's, issues. yeah. I mean, the only thing I would change, if this is gonna be the list that we're gonna implement for the first release, I just wanna make sure that That's some of the some of the things that we've already settled that aren't on here maybe get in here and i that will okay. just be a, an exercise of no, going that's through that's the that's list what, what, I, what I mean is, uh, what i mean is uh, with this list of metrics we mostly have the the, the the files for the metrics themselves we have different names but it's mainly a matter of going through the names and adapting it's not big deal so i hope that we can do that at least for this goal for the goal efficiency we also have some staff so I don't know if we can complete it, but very likely we can go to close to complete if we can work during this week. And uh, for goal quality, uh, right now we are, we are only at the level of question. We still don't have the metric defined. And for now, we will leave it like that so that we can concentrate on the other goals and we have uh, uh, metrics ready so that for the next period, for the next release of the metrics, we would be working mainly on goal quality, which is where we still uh, don't have the metrics flexed out. Okay. So, and this is basically my proposal. So, go through it, anyone, comment, and uh, the, soon, the, the sooner we can um, merge this proposal or any other one, the better, because then we can yeah. start working with the metrics themselves. All right. I'll, I'll go through it but on Saturday. Um, Okay. And that way it'll be, you can look at it Sunday and merge it if you agree. Okay, fine. The changes. That's, that's, that's a good plan. Okay. Is it also a pull request that you made on GitHub? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. pull request 90 in the work group for growth, maturity, and decline. Okay, okay. 90. Okay. If you want, and, uh, I'll find in, that. in any case, if you don't mind, uh, I'm going to try to find the time to start working at the metric level. So for the metrics that seem um, accepted or let's say um, I think that there is some consensus I'm going to start working at the file with the metrics kits and other metrics because otherwise uh, we are going to get a very short on time for, for the release. Right. Do you, do you agree? Yeah. I mean, of course well, anyone yeah. else is invited to do the same if, if you can. I mean yeah and like anything that I add to the list that you have there is probably going to have a pretty well developed metric page already or a well implemented metric that can just be spoken about. Um, and I, yeah. I guess we should make sure the ones on the list have implemented metrics too, because it is the idea when we release that the num the ones that we release are going to be ones that have fully fleshed out metric definitions. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. And we can have, we can have implementation if we can, that the important thing would be to have at least the definition, I think. Right. Okay. And then maybe we can write a simple table saying these are the metrics that are implemented and these are the metrics that are not implemented. I mean, they are defined, but they don't have a reference implementation. But that's fine because they are defined at least. Okay. And, uh, and I think this is all from my side. I don't know if you want to discuss anything else. I don't have nothing else on the agenda, nothing else in the queue. I think we're good. <laughs> okay. Then thank you very much. Thanks, Jesus. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, See you in the Bye. Bye. Bye.